just leave it right where it is. Don't pick it up. Of course, the officers are going to be concerned about everybody's safety, and so it's best if it's just sitting there with your eyeballs on it. Doing everybody, welcome back. Magnet Junkie here. Today we are back out at the historic Cocoa Beach, Cocoa Beach, Cocoa Beach, Florida. We've been here a few times, but we haven't hit the end of this beautiful boat ramp, so we're gonna see what we can find today. It's nice. No rain is supposed to be coming. The wind's not that bad, so let's get this magnet in the water and see if we can find anything. If anybody would like a discount on a magnet of their own, check out the description down below. And thank you all for watching. Let's we'll start off with the 550 Pro. Yeah, we've had some good luck here in the past. Whoa, all right. First toss out, we did get some stuff. It's like part of a old basket and a bunch of nails. All right. Yeah. Kind of a little sharp, stabby, tetanusy thing. A little bottle top, some more. Yeah, the Rona. Yeah, oh, man. Kind of felt like it stuck on something. It did stick on something. Are you kidding me right now? Whoa. Guys. Holy cow. Look at all this ammo. can't really read what they are right now it's a little overcast but um okay so there's that well, that's freaking crazy yeah i can't really read what they are right now guys i can't there's a lot of people around so i'm not going to show them too much we'll figure it out let you know Got it. I guarantee you I didn't pick up every one of them. Oh, oh right there we felt something. Oh my gosh, guys. Whoa. This is insane. <laughs> All right. Let's see how many more we can find. Oh my gosh, yeah. It's like somebody just, I feel it. A bunch more of them. Oh yeah, somebody dropped like an entire ammo bucket down here. Where's the gun? Where is the gun? this let's run this double-sided along here Woo. yep I got you man uh oh come on Built a snag. Yep. What do you know? More bullets. Good that, guys. Another one. Oh, 
There's so many of them down there. There's part of a cut lock. Wonder if that has anything to do with it. It's like the top of a lock that's been cut. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Yep, there goes even more of them. I'm telling you, I don't know what happened here, but goodness gracious, that's insane. Okay, I was not expecting that. Jeez. I think the fishing will surprise you sometimes. Jigging around, a little scrap piece here, scrap piece there. There's some more on there. All of a sudden, a whole cache of bullets. Just gonna keep digging along here. Try and get as many of them as I can. Oh. There is a, guys, seriously, did somebody dump a whole ammo can here? Somebody was probably just unloading their boat or something and really did drop like a whole, a whole case in there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, we got a screw on there too. There's another part of that cut lock. Or a chain maybe. Oh gosh, that's on there. Yeah guys, I'd venture to say there's at least about a hundred of them there. That's insane. All right, Let's see what else we can find. hit something come on oh we got it we got it we got it we got it what is it there it is oh my god guys look at that are you flipping kidding me or are you kidding me right now i felt it smack it holy cow well we're definitely calling the police now Oh my god. Clips missing out of it. Looks like a nine. That's what those bullets look like. I can't see any markings on it at this point right now. Oh, there it is. I'm gonna tell you in one second. Yep, nine millimeter, P83. AJ Paul, does it have your name on it? Are you kidding me? I'm not gonna say the rest of it. All right, well, looks like we're going to have to make a call to the police here. You guys have seen some of my videos. I will keep these, but this is definitely going to have a serial number. I'm not riding around with a stolen unregistered gun, nothing like that. Um, I don't know. So I just don't feel good about this one. I, I'm not keeping it. There's no point. I'm not going to fix it. I'm going to turn this over and all these bullets over to the police. Guys, can't really tell what it says too much. C A I something. It looks like Poland. Nine mil. Yeah, we're gonna call them. This one's. You guys can see it's not been down there too. I can still move the trigger in that. Uh, yes, man. 
I do a hobby called magnet fishing. I'm here in Coca Village and I actually just pulled up a 9mm and probably about 120 uh, shell casings. Park area where the people would be? To the boat landing, directly at the boat landing. Okay. You are at the boat landing? Yes ma'am. And just leave it right where it is, don't pick it up. Of course the officers are going to be concerned about everybody's safety and so it's best if it's just sitting there with your eyeballs on it. Gotcha. Okay, my partner has dispatched an officer on the way. Shouldn't be long at all. Cool, I appreciate it. Uh, we'll continue magnet fishing here, guys, but that's probably going to be the last you'll see of it. You can even see her down in there. I'm not taking any chances with this guy. That trigger is still moving. That thing is super fresh. So, we're going to let them have it. Yeah, guys, there's been a couple times, and if you're new, it's kind of a sticky situation. I, I've kept a slide and I've kept an actual hole gun because that one I was able to look up and call somebody and it wasn't reported stolen, anything like that. I contacted ATF and they told me I could keep it. This one is just too sketchy for me. Um, it's fresh, it's still in order. Something else is on here right now. Uh, it was. So we're gonna let them have it. Still pulling more bullets out. What this is, it's like a little travel, yep, travel water dispenser for a dog. I'll take that. I got a couple dogs. Never thinking of, I love boat ramps, so I'm never thinking to be at a boat ramp and pull guns out, but I guess it's uh, one, two, three, three that have come from right at boat ramp now. Yeah, the screw. I'll take it. We hit something. We did hit something, what's that? I know what that is. Whoa, are you kidding me? Kind of looks like an, a barrel. I'm not quite sure on that one. If that one is a barrel, they ain't gonna be able to do nothing with that thing. Come on out of there. Look at that, there's a bunch more of them. Oh, they're down here too, huh? Just keep pulling them out. Another bottle cap. Oh, I found one of these not too long ago. Somebody told me what it was. This is uh, I'm not a beer drinker. I think it's something Canadian. There's a key and a little shield on there. Hey, there you are. I was looking. <laughs> yes, sir. How are you doing, partner? It's in that gray bucket right there. I kept pulling out a ton of bullets, and then all of a sudden, bam. trying to hide something they weren't doing it. it's three feet in front of the dock there <laughs> i did see on it at one when it came, first came out on the side it says nine mil on there yeah no, I was something i didn't want to goof with it too much so <laughs> okay. do you want your name in the report or anything or doesn't matter whatever you need from me or if you just need to take it. Take it, drop it. Yeah. Okay. Well, he didn't seem very concerned at all or appreciative. Didn't even want to put my name on the report for it. That's a little weird, but that's his prerogative. What do we got there? What's that? What's that? All right, I'm just part of a little bungee cord. Some of my usual finds. Nice. 
So good to know they don't care about bullets, apparently. Nick! Right? Nice to meet you. <clears throat> See what else we can pull out. Whoop. Come here. Oh, yeah. Something's on there. Something's on there. Something's on there. What is this one? Oh, it's a little crunchy. This one's a little crunchy. It's like a little valve switch or... Kind of a little solenoid or something there. And now, I don't know. You guys got to drop me a comment. Magneto knows. I know he knows. What's that? Whoa. All right. There's, looks to be the end of a fishing rod. You got a little spoon there. Anybody need a little spoon? Brand where? Japan. <laughs> okay. Look at that. Love finding locks. That's another lock. Heck yeah, it is. Oh, no, it's not. I thought it was a lock. It's like uh, the end that holds your anchor. What that little wire deal is around it. Nice. That's a cool find. Another bottle cap, Bud Light. Oh, something did hit it. All right, a little washer there. Thought I felt something. Ah, I really want to find some pliers. Ugh. Got a couple hundred bullets. Can I get one pair of pliers? What's that? Hey, hey, that's an Allen wrench. I found tools. <laughs> I'm more excited about an Allen wrench than a gun. All right, everyone, this thing's about to die. So unfortunately, that's gonna do it for today. I'm not really gonna say unfortunately because um, a couple hundred bullets, another nine millimeter, and some other stuff out of the water, I'll take that as a good day every single time. So, had a great time. Hope you all enjoyed this trip. We'll be back with you as soon as possible. Definitely a video every single week. We're trying to start posting too. A little hard, but we'll see if we can get there. And everybody remember, like I always say, get up, get out, go find yourself. We'll see you all in the next episode. Peace out, everyone.